boop, boop, unicorn headband. That's boop, boop, by the way. Just me at the moment. Horn is uh, naked at the moment, by all accounts. Don't know where Key is. Anyway, evening, everyone. One second, one second. And welcome to the um, decider of No More Jockeys tonight. We'll see who wins the set and the prize of £25,000. Hello. Hi, Tim. <coughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Loud and clear, mate. Let's, let's bed in. Sorry? Let's bed in. Let's get the show started. Yeah, well, I heard you say bed in that time. Yeah. He's got it weirdly. Why did you say bed in such a weird way? It is old Buckinghamshire Broadband. There he is. I can't see him. It, it says my host has stopped my video. I'm not surprised the way you're playing up. Maybe it's because I was naked and the host turned the video off. Well, look, I'm ready. <laughs> Well, you're not exactly ready because you're not on the screen. You were naked two minutes ago. That's why I had to start. Well, I am ready. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it's a jockey. I had a few problems. <laughs> you're dressed, sorry to say it, like a twerp. Evening, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. A few things happened. I tried to put the dog to bed. She wanted to stay and watch the game. Of course. I put her to bed. I opened my packet. I didn't understand what these things were. Uh, I thought this was a waistcoat, so I put that on for about three minutes. But they're, they're boot covers. Then I, then I found my drink. Yeah. Oh, okay. man. very nice, actually. But the main problem Are you going to end this um, story with, and, and now it's now? Yeah. And then the main problem with this is I tried to put drink in it, but there's a lid. And I couldn't get, I couldn't get the lid off. But you have People... to press a little button, and then you can take the lid off. People talk like you're the most capable one, but I don't really know where that comes from. And at this point, I was still naked, and the dog was still barking. Then I came back to this and the Zoom had gone and my internet yep. had gone. And so I had to put my clothes on, work out those weren't waistcoats, yeah. get back on the internet, put the dog to bed. And I did that. And now it's now. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's a little bit of boop, 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 unicorn mug. So I've got a unicorn flask with a lid. Do I put the lid on? I've written down two words. I've written down assert dominance. Okay, is that what you're going to do? Are you going to just take charge of the game? Orn, if you would please, when you get half a second, get your hands off your face. Before you do that, just a word on my phone situation. I have here a uh, oy, very large flower pot. Well, it's a plant. <laughs> uh, it's enormous. It's cost about uh, nearly 50 pounds. And the, um, the phone's just going all the way into that, and that really is one of the biggest palm pots I've ever put a phone into. I've hooked onto my phone. Everyone, all right? Are well, you already on your phone? That means you'll be on. You'll be using an abacus in twenty minutes. Why have you got a bucket? Uh, and again, again, horn opting not to do his lips at the same time as his cords. I've got a bucket, and you've got bucket and broadband, and my phone's in here. My horn is the just um, for security reasons. Now, first of all, Watto, before we decide whether we're going to call him my horn for the rest of the show, can you yeah, I'm going for my horn. Uh, can you can you put the can you put the plant pot in your head for a minute? Is that something you do later? Maybe maybe we'll do that at eleven. Well, let's okay at eleven. Let's guess whether I can put the plant pot on my head or not. Also, I bought all of this from a charity shop today, and there's a funny word on this layer. So we'll have a guess at that later. It begins with a P. Look, do I go back to the internet or do I stay on the phone and we get? I, going? I, I don't I don't know, Horn. All I will yes. say is. It's bad news when you're playing a game that made its name online and 10 minutes in someone is using a phrase like, do I go back to the internet? I have been advised by the host to try Wi-Fi one more time. Goodbye. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Good luck with the Wi-Fi. Has the host advised you to try not being a c for five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> well, the good news is I am back and it, I've got official confirmation my internet connection is unstable. I don't think we've had this person before. So give her a warm W. Her name is none other than your friend of mine, Jessica Rabbit. You're welcome, Miss Rabbit. No more people who... When you think about it. When you think about it. Big when. You can roast their surname and eat it. <laughs> no more people whose surname you can roast it with, with some onions and eat it with your parents. Would you be able to have Graham onions? Well, or... you tell me if that sounds like a normal Sunday to you. Sit down, oh. Mum. Sit down, Dad. It's double onions. <laughs> no, but I'd have onions with onions and rabbit. What? I think it wasn't bad. I don't think you roast rabbit. Well, what the fuck are you doing with rabbit then? Pan frying it, are you? Stirring it. Or I'm putting it in a stew. That's a good point. Rabbit stew. I, that rabbit stew does ring a bell. 
normal people who you can roast their surname, have it with onions and your parents, and that would be an okay Sunday. Do you want me to name another? No. Something that might go nicely, with, maybe Michael Fish. Paul Daniels. Ah. Daniels! Daniels, I think it might be his debut. I think with that, it's gone. Hang on. And that, it's gone. Oh yeah, like, uh, hang on. <laughs> and with that, it's gone. <laughs> He was a genius. No more people who... When you think about it. And if you were given the luxury of 90 seconds, you can find a picture of them with a live rabbit. Yeah, so I'm continuing the lapine theme. 90 seconds is going to be a photograph, a photograph of them with a rabbit. We've got no fucking idea who has and who hasn't been snapped with a rabbit. This is what I would call a randomizer. You're going to be worried about almost anyone. Hmm, very, very interesting. Thank you. And also, whoa, kitchen conversions. Oof, I just, uh, I just dropped two dessert spoons of sugar in there. But how many milliliters then? I don't know. I'll go a thousand. Uh, yeah, 20. So you're closer. And that was kitchen conversions. All right. Kitchen conversions. Now get rid of it, get rid of it like Paul Daniels would. And with that, oof. Yeah, it's gone. Nostradamus. Ah. Nozzy. Nozzers. Oh, Jos Norris. No more people. Who? When? 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 You think about it. Think about it. <laughs> you couldn't draw a picture of their face and the rest of us recognise them. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Wow, that is tricky. I can't draw anyone's face. The trouble is, we thought it was no more jockeys, but it's turned into Art Attack with Neil Buchanan. Well, I mean, I don't think he's got any distinguishing features. No, 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 I totally agree with that. It's just a bit afterwards where you get your uh, Tony Hart on. Oh, I like drawing. But if I were to say Mike Atherton. Oh, well. Yeah, we all know, we know what his face looks like. But I can't draw him. No, but that doesn't, that's only comes into play if we say you don't know what his face looks like. Then you right. have a stab at his face. And if you're close enough, you're fine. Oh, by the way, doop, 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 unicorn flask. And that's that. Doop, 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 unicorn flask. And that's doop, not dop. Just like it's boop and not bop, in my opinion. Maybe I will put them on. Okay, well, I'll put my collar up and I would have a drink. I'll put my collar up and I will have a drink. Well, I think I'll uh, put my collar up and I will bop, bop. Unicorn mug. Oh, doop, doop, doop. I think, unicorn plus. I think it's boop. I've heard what you have to say, and I've enjoyed it no end. I've had a lovely time so far. But I have to say that my next candidate in the interview process is, I think, one of my favourite candidates based on his CV. Boo Boo. From Yogi Bear. Yo I think it's Yogi Bear's nephew. No more people whose best friend is a totally different size to them. <laughs> okay. You're going his best friend now, not uncle. Well, you get the idea. Is 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 stomping partner? If there's more than two feet between you, then yeah. that is a totally different size. Okay, so let's say the two Ronnies. If I said Ronnie Corbett, then we're in business. Well, then you start to wonder whether stomping partners is even a real phrase. Yeah. Yeah. Stomping partners. Is it a phrase? I think I've heard it. Stomping ground, <laughs> I think, is where you've got it from. <laughs> stomping partners in the end. Um, I finished my go. Good luck, everyone. Good luck I to you. I forgot that we had to say that every time. I'm starting my go. Good luck, everyone. 26 minutes till I try and put the planter on my head. And also we try and guess what word, beginning with P, is on uh, this thing here. I've, I, oh. I think I've got it. Have you? Pratt Digger. Did I ever send you a t-shirt with Pratt Digger on it? That's no, right. I think you'd remember if you'd done that. Maybe I sent it to a Dinky Donk, the fourth man. Yes, of course. Pratt Digger was one of the uh, back in the day when you tried to well, gang of us tried to popularise words. An earlier horn project. Just uh, not gang, really. Stomping partners, isn't it? Oh, uh, you've yeah. got a pretty. Sorry, you've got a pretty tongue. You want to see you can keep the tongue out the longest? Yeah. All the way out. Yeah. Yeah. And whose tongue is out for the longest? 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 I'll just think about this actual move in the meantime. I see a few things have been eliminated category wise, so I'm just going to have a very quick mental uh, recap of those. Uh, Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh. Ah, I'll quit. Uh. Oh, no, can't I have that actually when you think about it? Mm, I've made this slightly fiddly for myself. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Oh, Hall wins. And with that, that, it's gone. So, Charles Dickens, we've probably had this category before. I shouldn't think you liked it then. I shouldn't think you'll like it now. Well, I'm getting ready. No more people who. Uh, <laughs> It's encroaching, is it encroaching? When you think about them, they've got the same first name as someone that's been the king or queen of England. How do we know when you've finished your go? Ah, and I've finished my go, and good luck everyone. Great. I think one of the traditions of these live games is that I've gone for an early challenge to get the challenge ball rolling. Assert dominance. With that thought in mind, may I offer up the first challenge of the evening? It's the sort of thing where people posed in Victorian times with rabbits, isn't it? It's possible. It's possible, I'll give you. Is that him? No. Well, that's time. And um, the challenge ball has come to a standstill. Well, the closest I got is that. And that's not, to be fair, a friend of mine. <laughs> Kevin Nah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the oldest boy there ever was. I was going to say Nah or Enya, and I thought more chance <laughs> of Enya holding a rabbit than Nah. Exactly as I intended. The rabbit thing has obsessed at all the players. No more people who, when you think about it, when they're doing their job, they're holding on to something with two hands. No more people with two job hands. Yeah, and that's when they're doing the main thing about their job. Uh, they're holding the same thing with two hands. No, me not. Phil yeah. Mickelson. I'm going to challenge. Let's see Kevin Nar next to his caddy and do salute. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I had completely forgotten that category. Yeah, it's what stomping partners. Yeah, completely. Well, what I'm liking is the fact that you're at least accepting straight away that a caddy is a stomping partner. Well, no. Look, I, I've scarcely seen two people as, as close to the identical heights as Kevin Nahr and his caddy. That's <laughs> yeah. I, I think I'm going to have to shake things up a bit here. I'm going to go for She Must Be Obeyed, Medusa. Oh, Medusa, I mean... I, I think I'm okay with Medusa. But every time I say Medusa, you both drink about half a pint of whatever it is in your unicorn mugs. And then you giggle, and so in the end, you can't really say Medusa. <laughs> and, you, and you start to think, at least for a second, about... Uh, your friend of mine. <laughs> what's she called? Just, Jacinda Ahern. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I think I've heard what you've had to say, and I think I'm going to go for the Microsoft uh, paperclip. <laughs> I think he has got a name, hasn't he? It's Clippy, isn't it? <laughs> and it's the first time someone's been so psyched out that they've turned to a paperclip, I think. Okay, Clippy, no more people who you can't find out. There's no evidence on the internet of their social life. <laughs> Can I clarify what you mean by social life? <laughs> well, like a life outside of their job. Name another. Who oh, you don't know about their social life? Green Cross Code Man. Snap. Yeah. What a snap off of the Rice Krispies. I'd be amazed if he doesn't hang out with Crackle and Pop at least some of the time. But maybe. That, that is their social life, isn't it? Yeah, that's like us. We're Snap, Crackle and Pop. With Clippy, with all due respect to the guy, Clippy's work life balance is fucking shot to pieces. I don't mind Key Watson and Horn instead of Snap, Crackle and Pop. No, do I. That would be a way we could really monetize this if we take over the Rice Krispies brand. When? Sorry, when? But we'd have to ensure that the, the actual Krispies make the noise Horn Key Watson when you pour milk on, I think. I'm checking there's no challenges on old Clippy. How confident are you of the challenge, Mahorn? Challenge! I reckon you could find a photo of a rabbit with the Microsoft paperclip there. What's he typing in? Microsoft paperclip. Time at the bar. Yeah, fair play. But it was well worth a go. For a start, there is a, a cartoon here with both Clippy and a rabbit in it. This says, get out of here, Clippy, and there's a rabbit, and the Clippy's not on the screen. But you can see that there was some interesting stuff. There's definitely no Clippy there, no? If you zoom there's in. no Clippy, there's no Clippy. He survives, but it was kind of interesting I, for a minute, I thought. Oi! And up it goes, up it, it goes. It does suit you. I think I probably meant the other way up. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it, actually. Oh dear. Are you calling me? Yeah, yeah. Not... <laughs> oh, hi, Alex. Yeah, you. Oh, you can talk to yourself if you want. Oh, hi, Mark. It was quite dark in that pot, wasn't it? 
can you ask Alex and Tim what strange word is on my um, top and also what strange thing there is about my top? Bye. Well, the word I'm going to go for is peachy. Pineapple, and it's a pineapple with sunglasses. But the fact is, it says Polaroid. Polaroid? And the fact is, it's got no sleeves. Oi! Polaroid, Polaroid, and the fact is it's got no sleeves. Yes, it's a Polaroid vest. That's me doing my best. And I bought a Polaroid vest for four pounds today. Do you think the top is quite boring when you turn around though? It's not exactly the most boring thing I've ever seen in my life, put it that way. Disintegrating, disintegrating, it's a disintegrating rainbow. Disintegrating, yeah, disintegrating, it's a disintegrating <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> Now, we're getting down to the business end of this shit. Mm. Oh, yeah. A fantastic art submission by Flo Harper. Oh, what, the old, the old Fatberg? It's beautiful. What were you doing between 5.30 and 10? Or? Do you want me to tell you honestly? Tell old Vinegar Boy what you're up to. I'm now Vinegar Boy? Yes, you Vinegar Boy, Vinegar Boy. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm Vinegar Boy. I know someone that's making a No More Jockeys A to Z and V is the only thing they haven't got one for. Wally from Where's Wally? This is insane. Was his surname? Doesn't have a surname. I don't think we know of a surname. Well, No More Friction are there? <gasps> it's a gauntlet. Either you get me out or you two have got to survive without any Friction are Can you put your fingers in your ears just so I can just tell the below the lines what I'm thinking? On, oh, get your fat thumbs and your bastard lugs. Right. I don't think I've ever what? put my thumbs in there before. <laughs> well, one thing's for how come you're laughing, Watto? You've got your fingers in your ears. Yeah, but I can see that Horn is doing something really weird. <laughs> I know. No, but how do you hear the last thing I said? <laughs> because with your fingers in your ears, you can't feel sort of hair stuff. <laughs> uh, if you think Wally's got a fucking colossal pal, you've got another thing coming. No, he does hang out. He's got stomping partners. For example, well, he's got a dog that he hangs out with a lot of the time. A dog is the ultimate stomping partner, isn't it? No, oh, I get so fiddly and stuff, and I haven't had a pen in my hand for so long. Can I just have a quick go? Yeah. Have a, yeah. Have a, have a, have I'm a not writing anything. I just want to fiddle. Fiddle me this and fiddle me that. I'm fiddling away like a funny little rat. I fiddle with the green, I fiddle with the red, and then I put fiddling out of my head. <laughs> I think I might play Tim Key. Would you challenge me, by the way? I think I'm a bit muddled. Who did the last one? Did I say the last person? Didn't what so? Well, is it not my go then? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, below the line will be seething. And I would love to hear Tim Keefe. <laughs> There's nothing to hear more. <gasps> oh, it's tempting. I'm absolutely mad that that happened. Is that my book? Well, that? Yeah. Yeah, I like you. I like you. I like your work. It's been up there for a while. Hang on a minute. Is that my book as well? Yeah. Actually, I have got your book. I've got one of each of your books. Well, it'd be nice to have them on display, wouldn't it? All, all, all of them. No, I won't. <laughs> Mine's on display. I'm thinking about Sue Lawley. So am I now. Sue Lawley. Whoa. Sue, Sue Lawley. Whoa. She used to do the news. She likes a bit of booze. I don't know if she does. Sue Lawley. Whoa. 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 He's got tons of whisks. There's an island disc. Sululi. Whoa. Are you going to challenge? Sululi. Well, after this, maybe. Whoa. Three letters and then six. Up to a usual tricks. Sululi. Whoa. Sululi. Whoa. She always says no gun. She used to fill in on Wogan. <laughs> she doesn't always say no gun, you're right. <laughs> I need a wee. We're going to have no more oh. multiples of three. So, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck is that? Either name can't be a multiple of three. Oh, okay, then. Numbers of letters. And that's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and from that one, it's a case of, and that's my pleasure at the end. Well, let me have a little think. Is it another one of these? <laughs> yeah. It's a good category. I always felt like it would be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Do you want to do? You can, you can stick the tongue out and do a rabbit for the longest. Yeah, okay. What are you getting involved in this one? I'm fine. You can do Go. It gets tired. Oh, that's too loud. No challenge. No. Two in the end. <laughs> couple, of, couple of them. I suppose so, yeah. Sorry to leave you, sorry to leave you hanging, was it? That's all right. I was just putting my Mastermind trophy in my House of Games trophy. <laughs> sorry. I can't really get my pair of my, my um, iPads balancing on my Perrier. Have oh, you got two on? Yeah, you've not got two, you guys. I've got a mastermind trophy in my one, though. I'm on my final leg of beer, and then we come on to the satisfying drink. I've heard what you've had to say. I know I've enjoyed it. I have, I have, I just have. Now I need to take my brain out <laughs> and give it a wash. Back in the mouth. Back in, yeah, back in. But through the mouth, is it? That's where it came out. Back in the mouth. And let's see what happens if I say one of your and my favourite people of all time, a Brazilian ah. known simply as Pele. 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 I'm not naive. I know they've got them over there. <laughs> Fuck me. I've got a real problem here. What's wrong, mate? Is it flared up again? Well, no, I've just thought. <laughs> Pardon me? What? There were people who've got a um, school lesson in their name. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, dear. In either name, first name or surname. Yeah. Alex, it's 100% open and shut case of stick Pele and Rabbit into a search engine and is in the lap of the gods. Okay, I'm off. How do you spell Pele? P-E-L-E. -E. No, no, no. I wish you hadn't spent quite that long on spelling Pele, really, but there we are. No, 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 now, stop! That's the closest I've got. There's another rabbit there. Also, that's that's Lionel Messi, isn't it? Yeah, but that, that, that guy's Pele, and that guy's a rabbit. Is that a rabbit? That thing. There. Can you see the eyes? I think there's a rabbit in the tuba. Hang on a minute, what? I'm going to poo-poo what? I think, I think there's a rabbit in the tuba. <laughs> Is that a rabbit? Well, that's disappointing, and I lose a challenge, and it's really precarious now. No one's got pictures of them with rabbits. Virginia Woolf, I think it is. Virginia Woolf, I think it is. No, no more people who drowned. Well, Horn, is it is it death or glory for you? Oh, I have to do it, do I? Uh, it's key thing where he tries to get the other person to challenge. You're going to hear the um, satisfying drink, and then I will show you it, and then you can guess what it is, and then I'll show you the bottle. Ooh. Oh, it's the red peril. What's the red peril? Is it Aperol Spritz? It is Aperol. Would you believe it? It's a satisfying drink, though, isn't it? That one. Oh, that is a satisfying drink. Fun drink. And it would. There goes my mastermind trophy, but that's fine. <laughs> my mastermind trophy. My arms look like chicken drumsticks. Arms look like chicken drumsticks. Ding at me. Ah. No more people who, when you think about it, have been on a series on the BBC. So, so, so they're a regular character on a drama series on the BBC. But also, I'm imagining you're going to challenge me, so it's irrelevant. Are you taking him from what, There could well be a picture of the guy with a your friend of mine, Mr Rabbit, but then there could have been with Pele and there wasn't. And I mean, there was nowhere near one with Pele. All I got was two musical instruments. I should also say, with Pele, I spent most of the time zooming in on the crowd to check if any of them were rabbits. Daphne, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm waving it through. It's fine. I think you just go for it. I'll challenge, and I'll, I don't think it's very likely, but get me Gaffney with a bunny, my <laughs> dearest old friend in the world. If you do it, I'll salute you. And by that, I mean go and get some Rice Krispies and put milk in it. What we've done tonight is imagined Charles Dickens with a rabbit, the <laughs> with a rabbit, Pele with a rabbit, the and Dean with a rabbit. <laughs> The rabbit has been one of the great lures of the, of modern times, really. Please. No. Nothing. All right. Only Key has an eligible challenge left. Any further abortive challenges by me or by Alex results in elimination from the game. But at this point, you've got to do it. I, I suppose I'll go for Frank Lampard. 
<laughs> Can you imagine him not with a rabbit? It's funny, isn't it? Because of the um, pandemic, you sort of forget that it was the 100th centenary of Aperol in, 19, in 2019. Yeah, that got lost a bit, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, I got the wrong, uh, wrong century. And also, it was a year before the, 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 the pandemic. Is it that I have to drink it out of one of the HOG trophies? Mm, I'm afraid so now, yeah. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. I've done a poo-poo. Ah. Richard Osman. Ah! I, I mean, I don't have any challenges in my head. Great. In that case, I'll go for Frank Lampard. No more... Oh, my word. <laughs> Men. Name another. Chat D. Yeah. I've already done some work looking at a footballer with rabbits and there was nothing doing. Yeah, I, you can't. I mean, look, it's so sad. Just a broken trophy and that. Would you break the trophy, you moron? <laughs> what <laughs> trophy? Oh, is there a rabbit in there? Go on, Watto. All right, Jane Torville. Oh! <laughs> No more people that have been in the Olympics, no more Olympians. Paul? Oh. Yes, mate? He's, he's challenging. I'm tempted. Oh, go, yeah, go ahead. A challenge takes me out or takes you out? I'm doing a challenge. I think there was a Queen Jane. I think Lady Jane Grey was queen for nine Oh, I haven't years. thought about that category for a long time. Wasn't there Lady Jane Grey? <laughs> but was she queen and is it spelt the same? Because I think Jane Torver might have a Y in there. Oh, that's interesting. It's got a Y in it. I think Horn's gone. Right. Is it Krispies? But the thing is, I've got one challenge left, yeah? And hey, you can still challenge. Well, I may as well. Then me and, then me and Watto are on the same level. Well, I may as well bung in stomping partners. I don't think she's that it's different. Huh? Right. They are 19 centimetres apart. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. I, I, they can't even see each other. I mean, it's up to you. If you want Watto to walk on that, but I'm getting some Rice Krispies. Assert dominance. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. So what you're listening out for is Horn, Watson and Key. Ready? Yep. Yeah, maybe. I thought I'd got something. Well, you know what? I've got something. Oh, yeah. Challenge. <sighs> this is it. This is it. Match point. Rabbit. This <laughs> Oh my word. She might be an animal lover. All right, I'm going for it. And I promise you, I will do my absolute best. Listen, yeah. what you've got to remember is she's only ever photographed on ice. Or with a rabbit, who knows? And that is time at the bar. Well, I'll show you what I found. Somebody sang a song dressed as a rabbit, but not, when, not with Torville. I think I speak for them when I say, what were you thinking? I think Torville might have had a photo with a rabbit. We have a winner, and he's got a deteriorating rainbow on his back. I think spin the vest round, Mark. Spin the vest round. I have this on, and I have a friss on of excitement. Because <laughs> it is what it is. Well, because you've been on a mission. Because I've been on a mission, and I have won. It was a great game. I've got to say, I enjoyed the game, the consummate professional, watching uh listening waiting and then at the end running i pounced and and you and that was i pounced badly oh, i was so, so pleased to remember lady jane gray it was really clever of you but i was i did feel like she had a wire name Anyone Anyone else else in? In? i'm out actually i'm not <laughs> looking in anymore <laughs> oh i'm not Good sure one. Well, I want yours to be a perfect X before I lock in. Not quite. That's better, isn't it? It's better, but it's not perfect. Try to even them up. 